So our technology is based on solvent-free microwave-assisted extraction. Essentially, we take advantage of the water that is already in the plant material, and we apply a microwave field. The water evaporates, and as it does that, it carries the terpenes with it. We have this kit here collect, uh, connected to a chiller that actually condenses the water and allows us to recover the terpene fraction in this vessel. At the end of the run, you discard the water and you get a very pure terpene fraction. The most obvious one would be the fact that we do not need to add any other solvents. We take advantage of the water that is already present on the fresh plant material or of the added water if we are processing dry material. The second one being that since we are just extracting highly volatile components, the terpene fraction that we get there, it's very pure and we don't have any other undesirable uh, organic compounds extracted from uh, the cannabis plant. Also, the fact that since microwave heating is a more efficient way to convey that energy, we have uh, better yields and the fact that it's a very versatile tool depending on the throughput needs that your processing facility might have. So this one will depend actually on different configurations that we have for our microwave system. If we look into the cavity for the ethosex, what we see is that there is a vessel. We put a fresh prime material and we have three different configurations a 2 liter, a 5 liter, and a 12 liter vessel. For the higher capacity vessel, roughly it translates into 3 kilograms of fresh plant material. Yes, they are. Actually, as more extraction facilities are realizing the added value that having a pure terpene profile represents for them, for their return on investment, and for the product that they can generate based on that particular fraction of the material, they're looking into diversifying the technologies and having a more dedicated solution just for the terpene profile in order for them to have a very representative flavor and fragrance profile based on the plant material that they grow. So yeah, we definitely have some presence in extraction facilities in the United States.